Paul Russ here, our very TV. Good morning. We're heading north. We're leaving Coos Bay. So long. I did not care for that Sunset Bay campground at all. That was probably my first one I didn't like. Was that one. The way you parked in it. it barking dogs. I mean, I just didn't care for it at all. So, anyway, we'll just leave it at that. The Winchester Bay, there's supposed to be a lighthouse up here that we're going to check out. Yes, those are clouds and it's sprinkling rain. It tried to mist rain a little bit ago before I left. Okay, I think we're here. This is called Umqua River Lighthouse. There's a bunch of campgrounds in here according to Google Maps. Okay, we're going to make a left here. Then we'll go find that lighthouse. There's a Coast Guard station, several county parks, state park, campgrounds, marina. I mean, this uh, Winchester Bay has about everything in it. So let's go check it out. Wow, this is nice. Wish I would have stayed here. <laughs> last night. Looks a lot better. But you never know. You're always going to find one you don't care for. Alright, there's supposed to be sand dunes down in here too. And that's amazing that all that sand and trees go up, grow up through it. There's a Maybe a day use center there. Looks like a little pond. Ah, I see the top of the lighthouse. See it on the right hand side? Right there. And it's working too. There it is. Right, let me get turned around and uh, park. Then we'll go check this thing out. Cool. Wow, look at all the housing. This is houses for the Coast Guard. Sign there says no trespassing. Be respectful. What a great place to live. You're overlooking the ocean. You got your own lighthouse with county parks. Umqua River Lighthouse. It's early in the morning, there ain't no way you're going to go in it. But it's turning. There's a light going in it. That thing's old. There it is. Chester Bay salmon. Oh, I bet the salmon do run here. Yeah. We are right there. Oh, interesting. I never thought about salmon running. Of course, it's Oregon. Duh. <laughs> Of course, they got <laughs> picture boards. Look at that view. I need to join the Coast Guard. Look at the view they get. I mean, this is their home. Good for them. They earn it. Keep our water safe. Look at all the sand dunes down there. 
I'll drive down in there. Maybe we can fly the drone or something down there. I'll get down there close to the ocean or something. All right, let's get out of here. Clouds are getting thicker. Yeah, these are like apartments for all the Coast Guard staff here. Wonder who gets the ones with the good view. <laughs> Probably the officers, huh? Okay, here's a little gift shop museum. They're not open. It's way early in the morning. In case you haven't noticed, I like getting out early. Looks like they got a camp host. All these places, there's several camp hosts. I bet that's his RV right there. It wouldn't be a bad gig, sign up to be a camp host on the coast in the summer. sign that's a county RV park there county park we went through a state park back there then the Coast Guard station okay I bet this will take us back to those dunes that lighthouse is to the left up the hill. So this is kind of the area we were looking down on right here. Those look like apartments there too. On the left. Look at all the sand, huh? Now these are county parks. There's a campground. They all have signs for county. How many campgrounds are in here? <laughs> of course with the dunes. I know that's a whole world by itself. Okay, these are their, what do they call them, staging areas. Probably where they park their trailers. Get their uh, dune buggies ready to go out. And it's got a fee. Four dollars for a day. A little restroom. Well, let me get parked. Let's walk over the ocean. Looks pretty calm enough. Looks like I'll, I'll probably be able to fly the drone here. We'll get a bird's eye view of this place. Boy, some of this sand is so powdery it's really hard to walk in. Especially when you're old like me. <laughs> Let's go. I can hear the roar. You can hear the foghorn, too, going off. There's the ocean. Yay. There's the jetty to the harbor. You could see it better from up top. There's the marker 118. Let's get the drone out and see if we can uh, get a good view of this. <coughs> Up we go. Finally, no restrictions for flying. There you go, there's your ocean. There's the beach.
Look at all the driftwood. Big jetty. Look at that. And that protects that harbor there. That's where all the boats come in and out. We'll go up that road. We'll check out their harbor. Look at all the dune trails. Look at all the sand. That must be towards Winchester. Oh, there's the lighthouse. See it? And there's all the sand dune right there, right below it. That's what we're looking at from up top. Well, cool, but also you can see the storm front coming in. It's supposed to rain here a little later. I'm sure I'll drive right into it. Okay, well, I'm going to get landed here. Then we'll head back up towards uh, the harbor. Go check that out. Then get back on 101 North. See what else we can find. Cool place. I mean, this is all right. I just can't believe all the different parks. There's several in here. All connected. All right, don't forget to wave back. All right, I'm going to just double back on that road. I'll head back towards 101 and see if we can't find that Winchester Harbor. There were signs for it back there when we came down this way. So let's go check it out. says day use area there's a boat marina several campgrounds we're right along 101 here look at all this this is our look at all the campgrounds there look at them all in the dunes there's the harbor isn't that amazing what a place Douglas County Parks Uh, look at that guy. Memorial. I'll be darned. Jack Unger. Aw, there's uh, people lost at sea. That's sad. Alright, let's launch a drone. Alright, up we go. Now look at this. There's the road we drove up. We're just down, right, right around that bend is where all those county parks were in the jetty. There's an RV park right there. Another one. Swing around here. Here's their harbor. Look at all the slips there. Probably the bigger boats go up farther. But look at them all. Look how many boats they can fit in here. This place is huge. Absolutely huge. Looks like they got restaurants. Right up there is 101. And look down here. That's dry camp. Those are for tents. more trailers right there huh what a place I've never seen nothing like this ever with this many campgrounds in one area
down description there's all kinds of links to help support the channel buy me a cup of coffee get a t-shirt or coffee mug even shop on amazon all that helps support rvr tv and future adventures thank you all for your support All right, back on 101 North. We're going to go up through this Reed's Port and keep on going north. The journey continues. Small town USA, back roads, coastal views, you name it, you see it on our Veer TV. All right, there's Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon.